Hey, this is Josh Cohen from Tilzy TV here with Tom Woodley and Kathleen Grace, creators of the Berg and the Alphronauts. We're here in Austin, Texas, and it's way too early. How's it going for you two? Uh, it's going pretty good. It is kind of early. Kind of early, but we're good. I've got coffee, and it's, it's doing well. <laughs> so the Alphronauts is? Yeah. The Alphronauts is a, a web show and a band. It's a web show about a band. It's a fictional band, and it's a real band. <laughs> and you can watch it at thealphronauts.com. It's a web series, but an uh, indie band, rock band going on their first national tour. It's a mockumentary. So it's like Spinal Tap meets the Monkees for the Facebook generation. Most importantly, how'd you come up with the name? Oh, that's uh, actually that's <laughs> really... We had a different name, and yeah. then we were told we were not allowed to use that name. So then Tom and I spent probably well, yeah, there was a week... Yeah, no, at least. Every day, least, and we, yeah. have, we have a good list of probably about 250 band names. So if there's any bands So if you need, need a band name, name, we have them. That were voted down for various reasons. Various reasons, But there's, legal, it's and amazing, like, and we are, one of the pieces of content up today, our, our second episode, um, is called The Name, and we sort of make fun of that process in there, because it literally took us forever to name the show, because the original name was taken by, like, three other bands. And, and then the second and third and fourth and fifteenth sure, name were also fiftieth name, and then so, the sixtieth name was not right because of this. So we ended up with the Alphronauts. How'd you come up with the idea for a mockumentary about an indie band? Was it just a natural progression after the Berg? Kind of. I mean, yeah. the Berg is scored by indie rock bands. We use all Brooklyn music to score the episode, so we like working with indie rock bands. Part of one of our favorite parts of the Berg was shooting the bands. But Tom and I also wanted to do a road show. We wanted to do a show about a journey, and we also wanted to drive across country. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it seemed like a natural fit. You know, what else go? What other people go on a tour a journey? You know. Bands. Yeah. So going around the country, you've played actual shows. Well, we've played actual shows, but then also the reality of shooting, you know, we're doing 70 episodes total over that are going to be posted over 24 weeks. And shooting that across the country in 24 locations would have cost us six times is what, what we're spending on it now. So we're, we're shooting everything in Pennsylvania and New York, and it's the magic of filmmaking. But we're also booking real gigs in New York and hopefully across the country soon. So our next gig is April 9th at the Annex on the Lower East Side. If you're in New York, you should come. And Tom, last time we were talking, you were telling me how you're a musician, correct? Yeah. yeah. And, and you were telling me how this uh, being in this band kind of gives you an opportunity to go outside what you normally play yeah. and kind of experience with a different type of music. Can you tell us about that? And I have a couple of other bands, and I play mostly bass in that band called The Infidels, which does the theme song to The Berg. I had, you know, originally had no intention of being in this band, or just writing the show, mm -hmm. and then it just, it just worked out because um, of casting issues and, and timing issues that I ended up being in it as well. It's, it's a really cool opportunity because I'm sort of approaching the project from all sides as a writer and as a musician also, as an actor and everything. When you're writing for a specific band, it, you know, you're writing for a, a group of people that you know how to write for as opposed to this project. I was just writing a song and hoping, in the beginning, and hoping that the actors who we would eventually cast would be able to play the song. Mm -hmm. And so I don't, I don't know what I'm writing for, but it so happened that after we cast, the band immediately kind of jived together as a real working band with actually a much more organic like writing and arranging process than a lot of the, you know, a lot of the real bands that I've been in. And so it very quickly became a real band in that respect. And now um, the other members of the band are writing songs that we're using in the show and everything. So it's really cool in that that's, respect. Yeah, that's great. So everyone has a musical background. Oh Most yeah. Everyone. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was kind of an interesting challenge because we needed to find people that were um, funny. That were funny. <laughs> yeah, they could be funny. And that were that were good actors and good musicians that also could work well together on both of those fronts. Uh, but they couldn't be in the union, and we had to find them quickly, and it was hard, you know. Yeah. But we found a great group of people, so really excited about that. That's awesome. So it launched today, and we can check out episodes at? TheAllForNots.com. Thank you, guys. We'll All check right, it guys. out. Cool. Thank you, man. Thanks. <laughs>